Hey everyone and welcome to today's Whiteboard Wednesday series. I'm Patrick Purvis, the Vice President of Sales at Discover Org, and today I'm gonna to give you a framework to write great prospecting emails that get really killer response rates. So if you're in sales or marketing, you probably spend a ton of your day thinking about email messaging. I know that I do. Um, and I think when it, it comes to that, I'm trying to craft a new message. I wanna cram in all of this stuff into it, right? I think about like the dozen great problems that we solve for our customers, the dozen different use cases, the features that are awesome, and the company story, how fast Discover Org has grown, all the great customers we've brought on board, the awards that we've won. But I know that the, the worst thing I can do is try to cram all of that into some four paragraph long email. And, and we all, I think, must have that temptation because I see a ton of us still writing those four paragraph long emails. So the, the first rule here is no matter what you do, do it briefly. Uh, I, Mark Twain gets misattributed with this quote all the time, but I think about it. It's, um, he said, I wanted to write you a short letter, but I didn't have time, so I wrote you a long letter instead. And anytime you're writing a, an email message, you, you try to have that quote come to mind because it, it tells you that good writing is short writing. So if that's the case, then how do we take the most compelling things and make sure that we're sharing them effectively? Well, I use this as a framework to help me think of ideas. Uh, it goes, hi name, I'm sure is the title, at company, in industry, using technology. What technologies do they currently have installed if we know that about them? And if you're a Discover or a client, you do. You have this issue to deal with. This is the problem that you solve for them. We've helped solve this issue by value prop for companies like X, Y, and Z. And can we put 15 minutes on the calendar at day and time or day and time? This runs through my head when I'm thinking about good emails. And, and why? Not because I'm going to use this exact framework in the email, but because it helps me come up with ideas and, and then also take the most compelling pieces and narrow them down. So, though this isn't what an actual message would sound like, it's, it, it's not necessarily far off. So an example of, of how that actually might look in, in a real message and, and what we might turn this into for a message of, for Discover Org is, uh, you know, hi Jane, I'm sure is the Vice President of Sales at Widget Corp in the tech industry using Salesforce.com. You have a constant battle to get your reps to adopt their, your CRM because of the bad data in your CRM. So that's the issue that we solve. We've helped solve that for companies like X, Y, and Z by giving them incredibly accurate data that is natively integrated into Salesforce. So now your reps have the data they need in the place that you need them to be using it. Can we set up a call for tomorrow or Wednesday, et cetera? Now, that's one example, right? What I might do next is send a follow-up email a few days later that says, hi Jane, in addition to uh, our integration with Salesforce, we also have incredibly high percentage of direct dial phone numbers on the contacts in our database. And so your reps using that can have two to three times the number of conversations with your buyers every single day. Do you have 15 minutes? Now you notice what I've done is I've worked in a new value prop, a new compelling message for Discover Org. The first one didn't hit the mark. Hopefully the second one does. If the second doesn't, hopefully the third or fourth does, et cetera. But I'm keeping it really, really short. So at the end of the day, use this framework as a way to help you come up with ideas, a way to help you keep the message short. Don't go above, just barely above 100 word count, not further than that. If you, you find yourself getting higher up there and you're tempted to throw in a PS line with a little more information, try to resist the urge. But if you do those things well and you use this framework and you send multiple emails, that's how you can get a 30% response rate and 30% of your prospects to engage with you over the course of those emails. If you like this video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.